am going to show you Brand Central. Brand Central is a digital asset management system built on top of Concrete CMS. It is free and open source. You can get to it uh, from the extensions tab uh, and you'll see related projects on ConcreteCMS.com. Uh, that will link to its GitHub repository. So everything that I'm showing you today is open source and there to be built on top of. Um, there's a lot of digital asset management systems out there, and I think we have feature parity with um, really the basic stuff that you need, and I think it looks pretty good and works well. I think the real advantage with um, using Concrete CMS's digital asset management system is you get Concrete CMS. So you can mix organic content. You can fold uh, pages with blocks and, and, and content and functionality into the same site that you are letting people search um, and, and organize assets. So let me take a few minutes and just show you how we kind of think about the digital asset management problem and um, some of the sexier features inside this. And, um, and then you can start to kind of brainstorm as to ways this could fold into your organization's needs. Uh, so when you first come in to uh, the Brand Central setup, you get uh, what feels like a pretty s standard stock photography um, type search. You can search for types of assets. These are configurable. Um, this is stuff that we think makes sense, but um, you can set that up to be whatever makes sense for your organization. And you're going to get search results um, in a list. You can sort between masonry and um, fixed grid. Um, fixed grid gives you a little bit more functionality. So if I wanted to just download this picture right now, I can do that right from here. Um, you can see it zips it up for me, which is nice. Um, I can also take multiple assets and put them into a light box. Um, so a light box is kind of like a shopping cart for um, assets. Uh, you can see I just added one and now I can, I can put a bunch of stuff in here and then I can get back to that light box. Um, later. So if I'm working on a project and I'm not sure if I want these people rowing or these people doing a puzzle, I can put them both in there and, and always find them. Um, we think uh, there's kind of like three levels of architecture you should keep in mind here. There are collections, assets, and files. So we are looking at an asset. An asset can contain multiple files. So if I put this into edit mode, it's got its own edit view. Um, you can see there's the thumbnail and I can actually add multiple files. So this is more helpful when you're dealing with um, like a logo and you're like, look, there's, you know, here's the EPS version of a logo, the ping, um, you know, we, we have the ping with, on black and white. Like you might want a few different files that somebody can choose from for a single asset. Um, you know, so an asset name doesn't always have to be a, fi a, a, a file name. It could be. Uh, smiling banana. Um, you can choose that type. You can see we were going to search by those off the home page. Um, you can put your own thumbnail up there. So if you're uploading assets that you know we can't automatically generate thumbnails from, you can you can do that. Description. Uh, as I mentioned, assets can belong to collections. They don't have to, but collections are groups of assets that are handy for other stuff. They can belong to multiple collections. So I just added it to one. I just removed it to one. It's that simple. Um, tags. Everybody knows how tags work at this point. Um, she's supposed to be a dandelion. So I'm going to create flower because I don't think I can spell dandelion consistently. Um, location. You know, you can put um, whatever you want in here. They're not geotagged, but I suppose it could be. Um, when you save this, you can see we've updated that stuff. Um, you can get through, if, it, if an asset is in multiple collections, it'll show all those at the bottom of the asset. Um, and you can jump around between collections and kind of discover content that makes sense. Um, so that's kind of the, you know, the, the base, Hey, somebody needs to search assets, find them. Um, you know, you can download all the assets in a collection. It'll zip them all up and give them to you. Uh, you can build pages. So um, if I come over here to like branding, for example, uh, this is a page. I can pop this into edit mode um, and I can put blocks on here. So, um, you know, maybe I want to talk about 
this campaign and wh how you should use this stuff. Maybe I'm, I want to add a blog to talk about great examples of people using our imagery um, in the wild. I could, I can use the blog page types. I can do everything you do with a normal concrete site and the digital asset management component is just some single pages that kind of sit on the side. So, you know, in this case, we just added this, this content block uh, this is actually an express block that is bringing back all of the collection entities, uh, filtering them on the type of um, on photos. So we you can see some content and displaying them in this grid with a custom template. Um, pretty cool. So take this out. Um, see, so yeah, I've shown you light boxes, explain collections and assets. Uh, oh, I can also show you bulk upload. Um, so, uh, you know, adding content is um, a challenge in these systems. It's always kind of like, um, you know, any of these things are only as good as as what you put in them, and, and that takes energy. So there is this bulk uploader that saves you a lot of pain. Um, and you can see this is quietly uploading pretty large images in the background, and as they render, um, it's... It's showing me a thumbnail, so I can say, you know, looks like fields. Uh, it is a photo. Um, as it's going, I can also send this image over to, we're using Google's API to do some automatic tagging. Um, and so, you know, it's, it's machine learning, artificial intelligence which means you might want to double check it. I don't know what an eco region is, but I don't think I want that in there. Um, but you can go through each one of these and generate tags to save you some time. Um, so you don't have to think of them all on your own. Um, and it's pretty good. Let's see if this one comes back with a uh, more coastal stuff afterglow. Mythical creature. So I don't know why it's getting mythical creature from that. It's a pretty picture, but you know, clean it up a little. Um, to me, looks like Hawaii. So you get this field out. You can see you can do as much or as little as you want there. You can create a collection um, right when you're doing this. So um, landscape picks doesn't have that as a collection already. So I could add it to an existing collection, but I'm going to make a new one. I'm gonna save this and it is now adding all of these images become assets. Um, I get this nice big uh, collection. If I want to reorder the um, images in this collection, I can do that. So um, if I just want it to you know, display in a certain order when I first come in here, it's entirely possible. Um, and I've added a bunch of stuff. So pretty easy to get things in there. Um, the last feature I'll just quickly talk about is that there's actually a Dropbox in here. So sometimes you may need um, to let somebody upload a very large file to you. Um, Dropbox basically lets you do that. So if you want to have, if you've got some third party agency that's working on stuff and they're like, hey, I really need to send you um, you know, this 400 gig file that does something, you know, the video of something, something, um, it's got a built in Dropbox functionality. Um, obviously you're going to have to have a server that can handle that and set your timeouts appropriately. Um, but that can be a handy feature. All of this can be locked down or not. So we can put this behind permissions. Um, we can make it so you can view some of this stuff, but not download this stuff until you make an account. We can have it so accounts have to be approved, everything that you would expect there. Um, and yeah, I think that is basically what Brand Central does. So here's a page I made with just some content on it. It's in the same exact site as Brand Central behind the scenes. I'll show you. Uh, it is a site map, has a few. Um, uh, single pages that have to exist. So this is where we manage the collections and the download stuff. This is where the view asset sits. So we're not actually making pages for each one of those pictures. Um, but things like the best practices page I just showed you with the survey on it um, and that photos or marketing materials page, like those are content pages that you can put in there 
to really craft the um, site visitor experience so they get to the assets along with the information that they need to use them. Uh, and that's, I think, kind of the unique value that um, using concrete as a digital asset management system can bring to the table um, instead of just having a very functional application that says, hey, this is a digital asset management system. All you can do is change the home page image and um, you know choose which images are featured. You have a fully featured content management system mixed in with a digital asset management system. Um, most of this is built on top of Express. So um, you actually have Express entities that map to uh, assets like box and collections. And so you can see some of that data type. Here are the light boxes that I've made throughout this demo. Um, last thing that I will add before I sign off on this is um, the file manager in version nine is capable of connecting to uh, this type of setup. So you can pull in images to remote sites. So I'm not going to be able to demo that as I connect to myself, but uh, if you use your thinking cap, you'll actually see where this would go. If I were to add an image to this page, and I this was perhaps a, a different concrete site that we had set up, uh, and we were running the digital asset management system inside our network and connected to it, there would be another option here next to file upload that would be your um, connected digital asset management system. You could click that and you can search um, for assets in this dam here and your satellite concrete site will bring that asset in. It'll be able to work with it locally so it's snappy, um, but you can start to centralize your assets and share them with the different sites out there that, um, that might benefit from using them. So there you go. There's digital asset management inside of Concrete. A lot of people don't know that that exists, but you should check it out. It is free and open source and um, pretty cool being actively used by the Army today. So thanks.